You can take a video sales letter and break it into five chunks and send out five long emails, which I do. That works. But with an email, you've got to target people's attention span being that of a gnat. I just read an article saying that our attention span has decreased to lower than that of a June bug. <laughs> I read that, I was like, no, this has to be an Onion article, right? But apparently that's true. It's terrible, isn't it? But with the internet, that's what you got. So you have to be very, you have to come right after the kill, right in the email. So you, know, you can't just start rambling on about email. Um, if you've got a good list and you've got a list that follows you, you can say, a crazy thing happened to me today, I want to share it with you. That would work. But to strangers, they could care less about that. So you have to know your audience. But with sales letters and VSLs, I, I coined the whole pattern interrupt thing, that, and you know this because this is the start of every VSL, is we start with the idea that we have no idea where the user is coming from, and they're coming to a page that, let's, let's take weight loss since that's, big, that's the topic I write a lot about. So you think that this person is going, oh, I want to hear all about weight loss. 80% of the time, that's not why they click the link. 80% of the time, you want to know what they're thinking? This will help you guys immensely. Would you like to know what they're thinking when they click the link? Yes. Like, I fucking hate my husband. Now, you, you're gonna wonder why I know this. I just, you're gonna take my word for it, I can tell you how I know this. I hate my husband. Show him. Is her immediate response, I wanna learn all about nutrition and intermittent fasting and no. It's like, I don't feel attractive anymore. And he is the reason why. Now, do you really think you're going to grab her attention right off the bat by saying, there's this great new diet that's going to, no, you're not. And you also have no idea that that's her attention because the other person's attention is like, I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm bored at work, click. Is their attention span even remotely close to reading about intermittent fasting or, you know, no, not at all. So, where, where are, so you, what I came up with is a way to break their attention span. So we'll come up with some crazy thing that you do right off the start that has nothing to do with weight loss. And this all thing, this stupid thing got started with this, this thing. I showed a picture of a jacket and I said, my name's John and this is a magic jacket. This magical jacket helped me lose 65 pounds. I want to share with you how this jacket changed my life. I'm like, what? Is this some sort of like weighted weight vest jacket? Is this some sort of like thermogenic thing you wrap around yourself? Is this, a, you know, so you, people are like, have no idea where I'm going with this, right? So I tell the story, and this is a true story, it's like, and, and later on, so I'll tell you this in just a moment, but first, so what did I do just there? Anyone know? Open loop. Yes. Open loop. How many people don't know what that is? It's cool if you don't. Okay. An open loop is an NLP term. It means like, listen, I've got the most amazing new way to, what's one of your favorite things to do? You don't know what one of your favorite things? <laughs> I don't believe you. Okay, uh, I've got the most amazing new way to save a fortune on grocery bills. Awesome, it's just amazing. It's like it literally saves me like hundreds of dollars a week on grocery bills. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. First, let me ask you something. So I just opened a loop and you're going, tell me about the groceries, right? But I'm going first ask, so what that does to your brain is it goes, wait, I have to, I have to store that. You know, my brain stores it over here. And then what is it doing to first let me tell you something? you've automatically garnered their attention whether they like it or not. And that's called an open loop. So what we do in an open loop that we're really clever is we'll open their attention and go, first, let me tell you something that's gonna really help you lose weight faster. And lose weight faster is not a promise, it's a command. It's an NLP command. In a VSL, and this is the, you're talking about what's the difference. In a VSL, I highlight the words lose weight faster in red, and your subconscious picks that up as a command. I'm telling you to lose weight faster. Your conscious mind has no idea what's going on. <laughs> you know? So there's absolutely nothing unethical about what I'm saying. I'm literally just talking to both sides of the brain at once, the, uh, the subconscious and the unconscious. So, so, well, I know there's left and right, but I'm talking subconscious conscious. So that's a very powerful technique. But starting with that, you scratch the surface, it doesn't work as well on a, on a sales page. On a written sales page, if I show a picture of a jacket in this is my magic, it just doesn't have the same impact. So what I do on a sales page is I start off with, the, this became famous with old school new body, it became famous with a bunch of other sales pages I wrote, where I start off with three questions. Did you know that blank, 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 blank? Did you know that blank? Are you aware of blank? And the questions have to be like a Buzzfeed, you know, 10 questions, clickbait, almost kind of questions. But they're like, wow, I didn't know that. Like if you say, for example, 
Did you know that six out of 10 people failed to lose weight when they go on a diet? Yeah, I pretty much knew that. <laughs>